Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to describe and demonstrate a HME DX300 football coach intercom system. Although these are originally designed for football coaches and other games such as basketball and whatnot, you could still use this in concerts and other locations where you need communication between team members or concert organizers party organizers and more. This is one of the most advanced and clear sound technology HME's DX300 system and uh, normally it comes in a waterproof Pelican case and normally they come with one base, uh, one charger and a few belt packs and this type of headset which goes to the base station and it can also go to the belt packs like this. Usually these are the ones that are worn by the actual coaches and then they have a smaller uh, belt pack that goes under the helmet for the actual players that players will wear which is kind of invisible you, you don't see it it goes inside the helmet it's not bulky like this one. Uh, so in order for this to work, each, every single one of uh, these belt packs and these headsets, which are wireless headsets all in one, must be programmed to the base station so that it works. Now the base station can only handle up to 15 either headsets or belt packs or combination of few headsets and belt packs, not exceeding 15. But what you have to do is make sure to clear at whatever is registered before you proceed in registering more because you have no idea how many has been already registered. In order to do that, this is how you clear. So let's plug this in. We're going to plug this in and the first thing we're going to do is clear its memory. Now the power uh, plug cable, as you can see, has a ring that you can tie to make it hold it tighter and sometimes they come with a type of uh, DC port that doesn't have a ring. Some of them do, some of them don't, but if they do come with one you might want to use the twister to twist it so it can hold itself in place like that. Alright, so now what we are doing is we are going to turn it on. To turn it on you press the power switch which is right here. You press the power switch and it turns on. In order to clear registrations and completely clear everything, you have to turn it off first, put your finger inside clear and turn it on and keep the clear until you get a C here. Once you get a C, that means the status is clear. Currently there aren't any headsets registered. Now what we need to do is we need to put a headset in one of these ports. This takes two, uh, that has two headset ports, one here and one here. And th by the way, this is a two channel intercom. You have channel O, channel X and all, which means all of them. So now we are going to register some headsets. To register headsets, we grab the headset and we put the battery. You grab it, make sure the battery is fully charged. You snap in the battery with the terminal first and then snap the top pressure the, the top second like that. Once again you have to make sure that the terminal goes in first, slides in first because these little notches must enter these little holes here. So you have to make sure this one goes in first then you push the top part. Now, in order to register it, what you need to do is you need to click register on the base. You get an O. To register the headset, you have to put your finger on all button and turn it on. Keep it pressed and turn it on. Okay, so registration is complete. This is channel zero. I mean headset number zero. So you have headset zero, headset one, two, three, all the way to fifteen. So now we test it. This is working. Notice when I press the X button 
this light comes on. When I press the O button, also this light comes on. Because this is programmed for, to work on the red channel. If you want all channels to work, you turn it off. Press, keep your fingers on all three buttons. One, two, three. All three. Turn it on. Now the green channel came on. Now O came on, the green button. Now the red one came on. Because now I activated both channels. So now both of these channels work independently. This one, this one, and then I can press all, which is the middle one. All of them. So this is fully programmed. And now I'm going to move on to the next headset. This headset is programmed here. So I leave this here. It's a programmed headset. And grab another one. Do the same thing, the same ritual. Put your finger on all, turn it on, and register. You could do the, the registration first, this one second. It doesn't matter. If you press register first, then, then turn it on, or turn this on, then press register. It's the same thing. So now this is on, green light and red light, all, everything looks good. So the second one is programmed. Same way you, 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 you can program all of them. So you don't have to, I mean, I'm not going to make this video boring to go through all of them since it's the exact same procedure for all of them. Now, how do you program the belt pack? The belt pack is basically the same. You have to have a headset on the belt pack to program it, a charged battery. Again, with the belt pack, you slide this in first and then snap the, sec uh, the second uh, section in. So basically, when you see the terminals, that make sure the terminals match these terminals. This, si this part slides in first and then this part snaps in. Now, we are going to press all and power it on. Press all and power it on. All. Press register. This is belt pack number two. So this one was zero, this is one, this is two. And if I continue, it will be three, four, five, six, and so on. So that's how you register. So I'm going to unplug this. This one is ready and good to go. I'm going to take the battery off and show you the other features of the uh, base station. So the base station, if you need to contact, talk to uh, a party uh, in uh, channel uh, X or channel O or all, you simply select the channel and press talk. So for example, uh, this is uh, all, this is X, this is O, same thing, X, O, all. So if I, if I want to talk to all the field uh, players, I press all and I press talk. But obviously I have to have a headset here, so the headset is on this side, because you have to have two headsets on the base. So the headset will be here, and then I'm going to have a charge battery here. And if I want to talk to this headset, I just press talk. And it goes to that. Currently, and same thing if I talk from here, I have to press this. Hello, one, two, three, like that. So it's a two way communication. And if you want to talk from this side, you put it here, hello, one, two, same way. Okay, now I'm going to show you where the battery goes. The battery goes in here, this is where the battery compartment, this could be completely out in the field with no electricity present working off of a battery. The battery takes standard AA batteries. You could use rechargeable batteries or regular batteries. And then it, you, once it has six batteries here, six AA's, you put it in with the terminals entering first, these two terminals. The one that are sticking out, entering first. You put it like this, 
and then you snap it close like that. Currently there is no battery, so obviously it's running off of the power, but if, there, if it had batteries, that's how it, wor it would work. Antennas, you know, you can dis disassemble it for storage purposes if you have to transport it, or that's how you disassemble it, and then you can assemble it. Now here we have some more controls. You have the mic gain you can control. The, the signal you can have dual mode or single mode. Um, this one is primary and secondary base. You could have additional bases. If you have more than 15 headsets, you could have 30 headsets. And then you have an additional base as a secondary base. And this is base end for the secondary base if you want. Again, mic gain for this one. And right here, we have auxiliary audio. It, you could have auxiliary audio in or out. Either way, you could do that. If this is used, let's say, on a stage for a performance, you could have like uh, stage music uh, entered here. Or you could have stage announcement auxiliary out to pump it to the amplifiers. So you could announce something. So that's a very nice unit, very nice unit. They, they, when they designed this, they were thinking of every situation. And that's how they designed it. So uh, yeah, basically, so that's, that's I, I think I covered everything. The battery charger is uh, simple. You just plug it in. And uh, let me plug this in. The, the battery chargers come in two different kinds. One kind is like hardwired, like this. The other one is removable, that you plug it in and out. This is the hardwire kind. So the one that's hardwired is AC40. The one that's uh, plug in and out, it's AC40A, A as an Apple. So, and now I'm going to put the batteries in to show you how it works. You simply, the, each battery has a notch. Make sure the notch goes to this notch. This uh, plastic uh, uh, bar should go to that notch. So, let's plug it in. There. Red, is, red means it's charging. And uh, green means it's ready. This was already charged. So, see, already went to green because it's fully charged already. I took it out of the charging base. There, this one is red. It's charging right now. Because I use this one, uh, it's also fully charged. So all batteries are good to go. They're charged. But if I were to put batteries that aren't charged, like these batteries, I have some that are not charged. If I were to do that, then it's not going to go to green so quickly. Because it will take a while to charge. It takes like a couple hours to charge. So that one was charged, this one stays red because it's still charging, it's not, it's not full yet. So that's how the charger works. So yeah, basically that's what it is. And it's a nice little portable unit that you can take out in the field and uh, use it for any occasion, football, any sports and so on. So I appreciate your time watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe.